Now, wh which part of Lemonster are you in? I'm in uh, East Lemonster right now. I just actually stepped outside and and it's uh, looking southeast. It's it's pretty uh, it's it's pretty intimidating. I just seen the biggest string of lightning I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, be very careful. Uh, that uh, seems to be coming right down there. It's a fairly oppressive humidity, and the temperature remains relatively high and soupy there. That would be correct. Yes, it's extremely humid outside, and uh, the, you can hear the thunder booming just just. Uh, a couple miles out in the yeah, lightning could, is just incredible just heard it, right yeah. now. Yeah, there's a lot of cloud-to-ground lightning, as Todd has been showing us, and as this is coming this way, don't put yourself in any harm's way. Get inside. If you see anything getting very close to you, you're sort of our eyes and ears. Now, this, of course, passing looks like through uh, Fitchburg, uh, Gardner a while ago. Uh, we'll try to get through to some of our uh, viewers there. And at the same time, Todd, if you can keep an eye on that Manchester, that looked pretty serious, too. We've got a lot of viewers up in New Hampshire. They can be quite nervous with all of that uh, lightning and that cell that's coming down there. But I should reiterate, no tornado warning or watch there. Yeah, that's right, Jack. Again, the tornado warning is for this cell that's moving through Lemonster right now. Uh, you did mention a very strong storm up near Manchester, and you can see it there. I'll keep the tornado warning up down here. This storm uh, approaching Manchester, uh, Goffstown looks like uh, getting hit very, very hard right now. A lot of lightning with this storm, perhaps some damaging wind and some hail, too, that's moving through the, the Merrimack Valley. Hey, Mike, uh, are you still on the phone with us? Mike Dantini, are you still there? Okay, well, if we get back to Mike, I was just going to say, sorry to interrupt you, if, uh, that he could jump in anytime he wants to if he can make an observation for us. Uh, go ahead, Todd, sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine, Jack. Uh, yeah, again, th this is the storm that we're, that we're really concerned about. Uh, the warning is in place for another three minutes from the National Weather Service. It is possible that it could get uh, uh, continued uh, for a little while longer. Uh, we're continuing to get um, information from the National Weather Service. Uh, they, did, uh, they do have that, that uh, severe thunderstorm warning in place, that cell that we were talking about in Manchester, Jack. Severe thunderstorm warning, again, for northeastern Hillsborough County. Uh, this includes the city of Manchester. That's up until 845. That's up for, for another hour. Uh, the National Weather Service stopped the radar is indicating a severe thunderstorm capable of producing quarter-sized hail up there near Manchester. Uh, damaging winds in excess of 60. The storm is located near Francistown, uh, near Henniker, uh, moving east at 20. Uh, and again, Goffstown, you're in the path. Uh, Bedford, perhaps, New Boston, um, and Manchester, of course, the city of Manchester, uh, in the path of that, s of that cell up there. Uh, back to, uh, back to our, 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 our imminent storm right here. This is the uh, of utmost importance. The warning uh, is still in place from the National Weather Service uh, for another two minutes till 7.45, and it looks like they've just continued it. You saw that box continue uh, right down here through, uh, through Clinton now. So let me, let me read this off to you. Uh, National Weather Service in Taunton uh, is issuing a tornado warning now for central uh, Worcester County. And this includes the city of Lemonster. Uh, they've continued it a little bit farther along there now. So some of the towns in its path include Sterling, uh, Lancaster, and Clinton. Uh, when a tornado warning is issued based on Doppler radar, it means a tornado may already be on the ground or could develop shortly. You want to take cover immediately. You move to an interior room of the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Stay out of barns. That and Please avoid windows. Uh, if you're in a mobile home or a vehicle outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter you can find. You need to protect yourselves from flying debris. Now, this current warning that just went up, you saw it a second ago on our radar pop up through Clinton, uh, through the Wachusett Reservoir area. Um, that just popped up and it's in place until 8.30 this evening. So we have a tornado warning now in place until 8.30 this evening. That cell, again, is moving fairly slowly, about 20, 25 miles per hour uh, to the southeast. Jack? Yeah, we've got Joe Della Carpini with us from the National Weather Service in Taunton. Uh, Joe, bring us up to date what you're seeing. Sure, Jack. Uh, we are still seeing a storm uh, which radar is indicating is capable of producing a tornado. We have no confirmation of a tornado on the ground as of 7.45 p.m., uh, but the storm is showing a strong rotation and also showing what we call a hook echo, which is a pattern in the reflectivity or what you would see on the radar. 
Uh, that's indicative that there is a tornado uh, likely to occur with this storm. So as a result, we have issued a tornado warning for that portion of Worcester County, and we've just extended it, as uh, I've heard you said, it's in effect now until 8.30 p.m. As of right now, the latest I have is it's in the uh, Westminster Lemonster area and moving uh, southeast at about 20 miles per hour. Some, so some of the locations uh, in the path of this storm include uh, Sterling, Lancaster, and Clinton. Um, we're advising people in those areas to go to an interior room on the lowest floor, uh, stay away from windows, and if you're in a mobile home or a vehicle, um, get to the closest substantial shelter you can and protect yourself at this time. Joe, I'm, I'm curious, uh, is this unusual for a cell to hold together like this one seems to be doing? No, not at all. Actually, this type of thunderstorm is known as a supercell, um, which are obviously more common out in the Midwest where they have more tornadoes. But supercells can be long-lived thunderstorms, last for hours. Um, in this case, we don't think that's going to be the exact case with this storm. Um, but they can, what we call, pulse up and down, become stronger. Then some, in some cases, you'll see them look, uh, appear to be a little bit weaker on the radar. Then they'll pulse up again and become stronger. So this storm could last for a couple of hours. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to produce a tornado for two hours, but um, it's something that people in, in central Massachusetts especially uh, need to keep an eye on for the next couple of hours. Now, well, if we looked at that box we put up there a moment ago, Joe, you could see that uh, coming up would include Framingham, possibility maybe Waltham, but that's basically that a possible cell is coming their way, not a tornado. That's correct. It could be a, this thunderstorm in a weakening state. Um, I will note that the, you know, not to get too scientific, but the air over central Massachusetts is more unstable than it is closer to Boston. Um, these areas have had sunshine most of the day today, as opposed to the clouds and the showers we had in the Boston area. So um, what I'm looking at here is the air is more stable over Boston and the immediate western suburbs. Um, so we do think this storm will weaken as it heads further southeast and also now that we're into sunset. So I think as it approaches the 495 corridor, and especially inside, it will weaken. Um, but still, I'd have everybody in the Boston area pay attention over the next couple of hours just in case the storm holds together. Yeah, it certainly got our attention. Have you had, uh, you said you hadn't had any reports of a tornado on the ground. Have you heard anything of any lightning damage or that straight wind damage that uh, Todd no was talking about? Uh, no, Jack, not as of yet. Uh, we have had a report of pea-sized hail uh, up in the, uh, in the Westminster area so far. That's the only report we have. Um, right now in the office, we have our Skywarn amateur radio operators working very feverishly, trying to get some ground confirmation as to what's going on, uh, but nothing as of yet. Well, Joe Della Carpini, thank you so much for bringing us up today. We may be talking to you some more as we watch this cell move down there. Any other final pieces of information for people in the line of the storm? No, I would just say, you know, continue to pay attention uh, to what's going on. And um, if you're in the path of this storm in the next uh, hour through 8.30 p.m., please take cover now and be careful. Joe, thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome, Jack. And uh, like I said, we're monitoring this. Uh, Todd there in our weather department, a meteorologist, has been watching this very carefully. Has and anything else come on the wire? I don't have access to wire right here, Todd. Uh, no, Jack, just uh, that the weather service that Joe mentioned, uh, they did just uh, issue the tornado warning to continue for a few more towns up until about 8.30 this evening. Uh, Joe made some great points, um, and he's been following the storm since its birth. Uh, back in uh, uh, an eastern, uh, northeastern part, uh, northwestern, I should say, parts of Worcester County, uh, and, and now it's uh, it's become so strong. He's terming it as a supercell, which is uh, really just a, a very powerful, um, well-oiled machine, if you will, of a thunderstorm, um, capable of the straight-line wind damage and the uh, the possible uh, tornadic conditions. He also mentioned um, a hook echo uh, that Doppler radar. Uh, was was picking up on and and that would be down in here at and uh, in, in this flank right in here uh, of the storm um, the, it's basically uh, curling all the way around so you're getting some of that intense rotation right in here uh, and it's and it's actually you know creating this hook down there and that's where the tornado is is, is possible so that's really right over it looks like uh, parts of Princeton uh, East Princeton uh, right there and, and approaching Sterling uh, and then perhaps even uh, the Wachusett uh, Reservoir, which is down in here. So uh, places like uh, Sterling Junction, there you have it, Oakdale, Boylston. Uh, we're, we're watching you very closely as the storm continues to move to the south and east, Jack. Yeah, we, had, um, we have a report now coming out of uh, Shirley, which is just uh, north of Lemonster. Uh, Sergeant Peter Violet there is uh, the Shirley Police Department. Uh, Sergeant, can you hear me all right? Yes, I can, Jack. Well, has the storm passed you by? Uh, no, it's actually in Lemster right now. It's slowly approaching.